everybody and welcome to my channel Melmi Food and Lifestyle. Melmi, it's me! Welcome all the new viewers and welcome back to the old ones. Today let's cook together these amazing, delicious, juicy taco potatoes. And on the side we gonna make some juicy, juicy pico de gallo and some guacamole. Are you ready? Then join me. Let's go. For the ingredients you need. Four potatoes boiled, 400 grams of minced meat, one baby lettuce, 70 grams of grated cheese, 80 grams of cheddar cheese sauce, 20 grams of crispy onion, 2 spoons of taco seasoning, 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, salt and pepper, 60 grams of sour cream, 50 grams of tomato sauce, 100 grams of tortilla chips that are optional. Start by cooking your minced meat. For this, spray the pan with oil, put it to medium heat and warm it up. Place the meat on a nice sizzling pan, start to mix it evenly and add your seasoning. Make sure the pan is nice and hot so the meat will get a nice brown color and even cook. And your meat is ready when it looks like this. For pico de gallo you need 3 tomatoes, that's approximately 250 grams. 70 grams of red onion, bunch of coriander, salt and pepper. First start with your tomatoes. Cutting them in four. And remove the seeds like this. Then slice your tomatoes like this and cut them into small cubes. Then start cleaning your onion and cut them really really small pieces. Originally I was planning to use the whole onion but it turned out to be very 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 strong so I'm gonna use only half of it. It all depends how strong the onion is. I will not put the whole onion in it because it's too strong and it's making me cry already. <laughs> then finish your pico de gallo with some nice fresh coriander. Just chop it up very finely. Then add your salt and pepper to the mixture. Cut one lime into half and use a fork to get every drop of the lemon juice out. Just twist it inside of the half of the lime. And now mix your pico de gallo nice and evenly and your juicy, full of flavor and nice red pico de gallo is ready. For the guacamole you need three avocados that are very nice and ripe, one lime juice, bunch of coriander, three spoons of pico de gallo that you already made. For making the nice and smooth guacamole, 
start by cutting your avocados in half. Mine are super soft and super ripe, but if happens your avocados are a little bit more stronger, you can always use just the fork to smash it or you can add them in the food processor and make like a puree. When the avocados are cleaned, the stone is removed and here I use the spoon to scoop out the avocado. And then I will place the avocados in the mortar. For making the guacamole mixture, I will be using my pestle and mortar. But if you don't have it at home, you can always use food press processor or just fork. You just need to squeeze the soft avocado to make edible pieces and the soft mixture. Continue by adding your lime juice, chili flakes, salt and pepper and finely chopped coriander into the mixture. Originally guacamole has some tomato and onion in it. In this case, today I'm gonna add three spoons of my ready-made pico de gallo because it's already seasoned and I like the juiciness of it. Now I have all the ingredients here together and I'm just gonna gently mix it all together. Look at that juiciness! Finally, when all the components are ready for your potatoes, let's start filling them. Firstly, take your potato and cut away one fourth of the top. With a small spoon, remove the extra potato from the inside so there is room to put your ingredients in it. Don't remove all of it because you still want to have the nice potato taste. Be careful with this not to make a hole in the skin or removing too much of the potato filling. Firstly, I start with my lettuce. That's why I'm also using the baby lettuce, because their leaves are smaller and they fit better inside of the potato. I'm just gonna remove a little bit of the top of the white part and place it like this inside of the potato. Now I continue with the rest of the ingredients. I add the fried meat. Just in the center. So it's nice and filled with the meat. Then I add my tomato sauce. After that I will be adding the grated cheese the 
the sour cream and finish it off with nice and crispy onion. For the final touch, I will cover my taco potatoes with nice, smooth, delicious, hot cheddar cheese sauce. Look at that sexiness! For the plating, I will place my nice taco potatoes on one plate and on the side I will serve the pico de gallo and guacamole. For some little extra crisp, I will serve some tortilla chips next to the potatoes and also crumble up some tortilla chips on top of the potatoes. What a delicious meal! And this is my delicious taco potato recipe. Thank you for watching. Ring the bell, subscribe and like the video. Bye!